All right, now we are on slide three. We're gonna start off by um, on, on slide two of your PowerPoint. We're gonna delete the subtitle placeholder. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and X out my format background menu. I'm gonna click over here on slide two and it says to delete the um, entire subtitle text box. So in order to delete the whole text box, you actually have to click on the text box. So notice when I hover over it, there is the um, crossbar. So that'll allow you to select it. And then all you're gonna do is hit backspace. Oh, did not go away for some reason. So I don't know why, made me do it twice. Okay, so now I've deleted the entire text box. And then our second step says resize the title placeholder text box so it's just slightly larger than your name. So now we're gonna click to select the text box. And then I just want you to resize this. So it is slightly larger than your name. Don't worry about right now where the um, text box is on your slide. You can leave it wherever. I think we're gonna end up fixing that. Okay, so now it says center align the text box both vertically and horizontally on the slide. Okay, so we basically what that means is, see right now the text box is kind of just randomly on the slide. It's not, um, in the center. So what we want to do, instead of trying to eyeball this and get it to be centered just with uh, by looking at it, there's an easy way to do it where it can, it'll automatically do it for you. So have your text box selected by clicking on it. Once you select it, you'll see this tab open, Drawing Tools. Go ahead and go to Format. But then here, you're going to come up here to Align. And we want it to align to the slide. And we want it to align center. See how it automatically put it in the center and then we want it to align in the middle of the slide. So both horizontally and vertically. So boom, hit that and then this is exactly centered. It's way easier than trying to eyeball it. All right, step four, go to slide three, delete the title placeholder this time, the one with your name in it. So we're coming back here. I'm gonna come over here to slide three and now we are going to delete your name. So I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna select it again, I'm gonna click on the actual text box and then I'm just gonna backspace. And I don't know why it's making me do that twice, it's kind of frustrating. There we go. Okay, we are going to center the subtitle placeholder both horizontally and vertically on the slide. Okay, so select that. And, and I, I realize that your text box is larger on this one, that is okay, don't change that. Um, like we did last time, don't resize your text box. So we've selected it. We're gonna do the same thing we just did on the last slide. Go to format, come up here to align. Make sure it says it's checked align to slide. Go ahead and select align center to the slide. And then we want it to be in the middle. Boom, there we go. Okay, number six, last step on this slide. We are going to center the text in the middle of the text box. And then we're gonna increase the font size to 40. Okay. So notice in the text box, it looks like it's centered horizontally, but vertically it is not. It's at the top of the text box. So with this selected, we're going to go to the home tab this time. And we're going to make sure that it's centered. So go ahead and click that there. And we're going to go up here to where it says align text. Click that, and then we want it to be in the middle of the text box. So there we go. And I believe that's it for this slide. Oh, I lied. One more thing. And we're going to increase the font size to 40 point. So I don't know if you can probably just click on the text box to do this, but I believe you can also just like, so, ah! Sorry guys, hang on. I believe you can also just select the text like you're used to doing and just come up here. I just type in 40, hit enter, and there it is. Boom. Okay, that is it for this slide.